What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on LCID stock. And on today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news that might drive the price of this company. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Mumu valued up to $7,000, please check out that link in the description below. All you have to do is sign up for an account and deposit as little as $1. This is guaranteed free money. Full details you can see on the screen right now. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here. At this point, uh, when we hit uh, the 0.382 Fibonacci retracement level, and uh, I told you that uh, we completed all five wave structure from this uh, swing low to this uh, swing high, and this means we should have a retracement. And uh, we had a very good reaction, first of all, from the 0.236 Fibonacci retracement level, and it is almost the confluence range with this previous support that I marked uh, several weeks ago, and it is the price point of roughly $25.76. Then we broke it to the downside and had a very good reaction from the next range and it is a $24.67 price point. Then we had uh, this reaction to the upside, retest this range of resistance, then bounced back, again retest this range of support and broke this uh, level to the upside and we hit the highest point of roughly $28. So very good movement to the upside, especially if you consider it with the very good volume right here. And this means, because of this volume, we might see the trend continuation. And what should we expect next, I will show you in my technical analysis. But for now, uh, let's uh, take a look uh, on the news that might drive the price of uh, this company. So, what was the reason of uh, the recent spike? Let me show you first of all this news. It was published on March 29th and it says, why Lucid shares are higher today? And uh, uh, one of the reasons uh, is that uh, Lucid plan for growth was supported by a recent announcement that EV battery supplier LG Energy Solutions will invest $1.4 billion to build a battery manufacturing facility near Lucid's Arizona factory. The LG Energy Solutions facility is to be located in Queen Creek, Arizona, within an hour's drive of Lucid's manufacturing plant in Casa Grande. Construction is scheduled to start in the second quarter of this year and mass production is targeted uh, for the second half of 2024. LGS said the facility is uh, meant to support a stable supply to major customers such as electric vehicle startups and uh, power tool companies. LGS uh, is already a supplier to US EV companies, uh, including Lucid and Tesla. Lucid reduced its uh, 2022 production outlook from 20,000 vehicles to a range of 12,000 uh, to 14,000 when it reported its fourth quarter financial update last month. The company said that was due to supply chain and logistic constraints, but Lucid said it still plans to quadruple the size of its Arizona facility, and it has previously said they expect to be making electric vehicles at a run rate of more than 500,000 annually by 2030. And I have to say that this number is really impressive, but they have to add to their lineup uh, at least one model, and it will be the SUV Gravity, and most likely they will add another model that is the rival of uh, Model 3 from Tesla. So, plans for a larger battery plant uh, in the area help support Lucid's long-term growth plans and investors believe the company could have a very bright future. So, uh, this is one of the reasons why we have uh, this recent spike in price. The other one might be that uh, we still have uh, huge uh, gas prices because of uh, the price of the oil and definitely this will uh, give more credibility to electric vehicle manufacturers uh, to increase their production rate because of uh, these prices. And uh, this is the second reason, probably the second reason of this uh, movement to the upside. And I have to say that I didn't find any other news that might be the catalyst uh, for this asset right now. Uh, we don't have uh, any new press releases that I didn't cover in my previous video. And we don't have any other news uh, from any other uh, sources. And that is why, for now, we have uh, just uh, a huge technical movement to the upside. And uh, that's why we have to be cautious, but from the technical standpoint, uh, we are on a safer territory. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, 
let me show you that uh, right here we have uh, very good uh, retracement and I thought that we might hit lower price targets uh, like uh, 0.5 and uh, the golden pocket range it is the price points of 23.88 dollars and the range in between 22.88 and 23.09 dollars but instead of this we went higher from the range of 0.382 and uh, from this point we have a very good uh, five waves structure and this is our first wave this is our second that didn't overlap uh, the bottom of the uh, initial first wave then we have this as our third wave, fourth and fifth. And uh, on this scale we might have uh, the retracement and the retracement uh, should have a shape of simple zigzag. And let me pull the Fibonacci retracement tool from this bottom to this top because we have to measure this movement uh, in order to project some price targets that we might land in order to have more steam and to hit higher price levels. So, as you can see, we broke uh, two ranges uh, of uh, 0.236 and 0.382 and we have a very good bounce from the 0.5 uh, level and uh, definitely this might be one of the accumulation points uh, on a smaller scale if you want to catch the next leg to the upside. And the next one might be this uh, support range uh, and the confluence with golden pocket. And uh, on top of that we have the top of our first wave right here. So technically the range uh, of about uh, 25.9 to 25.7 dollars might be very good uh, range of support from which we might uh, have a next leg to the upside. And let me show you what should we expect uh, on the greater scale. Uh, right here, as you can see, we have uh, this movement to the upside as our first wave. This is our second wave. And this is first wave on a smaller scale. This means if uh, somewhere here we might see the trend reversal, we have to land the top of our third wave. And on a greater scale, let me uh, do some measurements. And let me show you that uh, from this bottom, if I... Uh, let me clean the chart a little bit and let me show you this. If I pull the Fibonacci extension tool from this bottom, to this top and to the bottom of the retracement and uh, with the assumption that we have to land the top of our third wave our next uh, potential range uh, where we might land it is right here it is a 1.618 extension and it is the price point of 35.37 dollars definitely we should uh, first of all break all the resistances that are above our current price but if it is the case and if uh, it is uh, the first wave on a smaller scale, we have to complete uh, another two waves, two impulsive waves, to complete the entire third wave on a greater scale. And this means, let me zoom out a little bit and let me switch uh, to hourly time frame. So, as you can see, we have uh, this range uh, of 1.618 at the price point of $35.37 as a confluence range with pretty much this range of support that we had previously at the end of 2021 and this might be the next level which we might hit in order to complete this wave. So, if it is the case, uh, you have uh, to accumulate your position on the way down and uh, we are at the very good uh, ranges. As I already mentioned, we hit uh, the 0 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level and the uh, next range where we might land is uh, $25.76. So, this might be your swing trade position, but if you want to invest in this asset, uh, the rule is uh, very simple. You have to accumulate your position on the daily red candles. This will give you the most attractive average price and this will give you much more profits in the future. So, I think from the technical standpoint that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye!